Laura currently pays $800 each month to rent her apartment. Um, and due to inflation, however, her rent is increasing by $50 each year. So I, I went ahead and wrote a linear equation that represents that situation. Right, we're starting at uh, $800 a month, and if X is the number of years, and it's always increasing $50 per year, right? Um, after zero years, which would be right now, it would be $800. After one year, it would be $850. After two years, it would be $900. So this equation tracks Y, her rent, um, X years from now. Um, it says, meanwhile, her take-home her monthly take-home pay is $1,500, and she predicts that her monthly pay will only increase by $15 each year. Okay, that's what she's predicting. So you can see right here, this is the uh, her, her current take-home pay, $1,500, and every single year she's increasing that that's, and predicting that's only going to increase by $15, $15 per year. So this problem says, hey, um, Assuming that her rent and take-home pay will continue to grow linearly, um, will her rent ever equal her take-home pay? If so, when? So we want to know when these two equations, right, when the rent and the take-home pay are going to be the same. So you can see what I've done here is I've taken the expression that represents the rent x years from now, and I set that equal to this expression, which is the take-home pay x years from now. And when I set them equal, it gives me x, the number of years when they'll be the same, is in 20 years. So uh, if all of these assumptions hold, right, 20 years from now, um, if I put 20 into each one of those equations, um, I get $1,800. So her take-home pay will be $1,800 and her rent will be $1,800. So again, this is, you know, if those assumptions hold true. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of things that, that change, and uh, I would not, those seem kind of like unreasonable assumptions actually for me. But if those two, two things hold true, 20 years from now, her take-home pay and her rent will be equal to each other.